fellow Singaporeans and voters of Kumu East. Good evening. Raja, Bangsa Hau. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Thank you for joining us at this rally tonight. We really appreciate you being with us. Some of you may have made the effort to leave work a little earlier. Thank you so much for your effort. Some of you may have loved ones waiting for you at home. We will do our best to end on time. Some of you may have brought your family with you. Thank you very much for your support. Basically tonight, I will speak something which is close to my heart, which is work-life balance. At the Workers' Party, we know that we Singaporeans treasure our family and loved ones. We know that we work hard at our jobs because we want to provide for our parents, our children, and our future. Singaporeans are one of the hardest working people in the world. Statistics shows that since 2001, the number of official work hours work a week is 46. This is this means about 40 percent of our time is spent at work. Assuming. We sleep for seven hours a day. This means that we sleep roughly 30% of our time. This leaves us only with another 30% for other activities. Mind you, the 40% of our time spent at work is only for official working hours, not actual hours work and all the time spent on emails at home or using the mobile. Just to make things simpler, let's think of Monday to Friday as one hour. In that one hour, you sleep for about 18 minutes, you wake up and you work for another 24 minutes. Then you have just 18 minutes to travel to and from work, play with your children, have dinner with your family, go out with friends and do whatever one you want to do. 18 minutes. Some of us may say that there's Sunday and Saturdays. But let us not live our life waiting for the weekends to come. Your children are not your children only on Saturdays and Sundays. Yes! Your children are your children every day! And the most valuable gift you can give to the people you love is time. We are not asking you to work less hard. We are asking for employers in Singapore to understand that employees' life is more than just his job. In fact, once employees understand that, employees will be will likely be more productive, committed, and motivated to work for them. We are also asking that if the government is serious about improving the work-life balance of Singaporeans, then it must lead the way through action and legislation. The government should improve the work-life work -life balance policies of the public sector to set as an example for the private sector to follow. Okay, now let's talk about what the government can do more. Firstly, let's reduce the number of working hours per week. Do you agree? Let's bring down official working hours to 40 hours a week instead of 46 hours. It means that if we take Monday to Friday as one hour, then instead of 18 minutes for our loved one, 
we will now have 34 minutes, an increase of 33%. And let's set a target for it, and let's do it by 2020. I asked about this in Parliament in September last year. The government replied that it requires careful study. But we feel that it's time for an update. Because if we say that family is our top priority, then it must be reflected in the time we spend with them. Secondly, let's talk about blue skies. Anyone heard about blue skies? Anyone heard about the blue umbrellas? Okay, blue skies was implemented in 2006 to encourage public service agencies to let their employees leave work earlier or on time when the sky is still blue. This is important because employees can go home early to have dinner with their family and spend quality time after that. Blue sky means family time. In Parliament in September last year, I asked the government if it would, if it would consider encouraging ministries and state board to practice blue skies on a weekly basis. The government's reply was that 35 public service agencies have introduced blue skies on a weekly basis. It is positive that Blue Skies is gaining traction, but there are over 60 public service agencies. For the government to set the right example to the private sector, as many public services agencies as possible must adopt this practice. Also, shouldn't we work towards every day being a Blue Sky Day? Thirdly, Let's talk about, about being a father. I have three young children of my own. I believe that many of you who are fathers remember the days when your wife gave birth to your child. I do remember it very clearly because my wife keep on asking me to shut up. Okay, some of you might have taken annual leave or even no pay leave to take care of your wife and newborn. As society progresses and as family becomes smaller, the role of the father becomes just as important as the mother. And we need our laws to reflect that. Mother have maternity leave enshrined in the Employment Act. Fathers do not. In Parliament in August last year, I asked the government for a percentage of companies offering paternity leave and whether the government intends to legislate paternity leave for of at least six days. The government replied that the percentage of companies with at least 25 employees that offered paternity leave has been steadily, steadily increasing from 40% in 2004 to 48% in 2010. This shows that the companies are already changing their mindset. Hence, it is about the time that the government change its mindset and legislate for paternity leave as soon as possible. The Workers' Party acknowledges that the government has expressed support for policies to work to improve work-life balance. And we believe that the government must make a stronger commitment in this area. The government must commit to reducing the number of working hours without reducing the quality of services to the public. The government must commit to improving productivity by adopting technological innovations and changing our work practices so that the goal of a 40-hour week can be achieved. It is time for our country to move forward to achieve 
It's the sustainable work-life balance. It's time for our country and voters of Punggol East to elect a person who shares many of the hopes and dreams that you have. As a woman, balancing her career and starting out her own family, Li Li Yen, understands the concerns of many couples who are beginning to start a life of their own. Her life experience and her experience on the ground for the past many years are a testament to her abilities and dedication to serve. Li Li Lian, you'll be a strong, committed member of parliament for all Singaporeans and especially you, the voters of Punggol East. Vote Workers Party, vote Lili Yen as the member of parliament for Punggol East, SMC. You now allow me to speak in Malay. Is that right? Saudara-saudari, perkara yang saya ingin sampaikan pada hari ini menyentuh tentang isu keisimbangan antara waktu bekerja dan kehidupan berkeluarga. Berkenaan isu ini, saya ingin kongsikan tiga perkara yang telah saya kemukakan di Parlimen. Yang pertama, saya telah menanyakan kepada pemerintah sama ada waktu pekerjaan secara amnya di Singapura dapat dikurangkan daripada 46 jam ke 40 jam seminggu. Dalam menjawab soalan saya, pemerintah mengatakan bahawa perkara ini perlukan sebuah kajian yang mendalam jika ia tidak dilaksanakan. Saya rasa masanya sudah sesuai untuk mem- untuk pemerintah membuat kajian terutama sekali dengan tertubuhnya Kementerian Pembangunan Keluarga dan Masyarakat. Kedua, saya telah mencadangkan agar pemerintah melanjutkan program Blue Sky Days secara mingguan kepada lebih banyak kementerian serta badan-badan pemerintah. Program ini membolehkan para pekerja pulang ke rumah masing-masing sebelum terbenam matahari di mana langit masih kebiruan. Pemerintah mengatakan bahawa sejak program ini diperkenalkan pada tahun 2006, 35 buah agensi pemerintah telah melaksanakan program ini secara mingguan. Walaupun ia adalah satu langkah yang positif oleh pemerintah, namun saya harap agar lebih banyak agensi-agensi pemerintah akan melaksanakan program Blue Skies ini kerana saya fahami pada keseruannya ada sekurang-kurangnya 60 agensi pemerintah. Perkara ketiga adalah cuti paternity ataupun paternity leave. Soalan saya, soalan yang saya ajukan di parlimen adalah berapakah peratusan syarikat-syarikat yang menawarkan cuti ini dan sama ada pemerintah ada berhasrat untuk mengeluarkan undang-undang-undang yang memperuntukkan sekurang-kurang 6 hari cuti paternity. Jawapan yang diberi ialah peratusan syarikat-syarikat yang mempunyai sekurang-kurangnya 25 para pekerja yang menawarkan cuti paternity ini telah meningkat dari 40% pada tahun 2004 kepada 48% pada tahun 2010. Peningkatan peratusan ini menunjukkan syarikat-syarikat swasta telah mula merubah minda dan prihatin tentang perlu adanya keseimbangan antara pekerjaan dan berkeluarga. Oleh itu, saya percaya sudah sampai masanya pemerintah juga harus mengubah minda dan mengadakan rang undang-undang yang memperuntukkan cuti paternity secepat mungkin. Hadir sekalian, saya pernah bekerja sepenuh masa sebagai seorang kaunselor rumah tangga selama empat tahun. Dalam menjalankan sesi kaunseling serta khusus rumah tangga, perkara yang selalu disebutkan oleh pasangan-pasangan adalah faktor kekurangan masa. Pasangan-pasangan ini akur akan kewajipan untuk mencari nafkah keluarga dan harus bekerja keras untuk menampung kos kehidupan yang tinggi di Singapura. Namun, mereka juga sedar tentang pentingnya masa untuk berkeluarga. Tetapi, realitinya di Singapura, 
Ramai pasangan suami isteri Mempunyai hanya sedikit masa Untuk waktu bekerja Hadirin sekalian Memenuhi nafkah fizikal Yakni keperluan asas kehidupan Adalah penting Namun Memenuhi nafkah batin Seperti keperluan emosi Psikologi Seterusnya ini juga sama penting Untuk memenuhi segala keperluan-keperluan ini Kita amat memerlukan keseimbangan Dalam waktu bekerja dan berkeluarga Akhir kata Saya ingin menyuruh pada Pemundi Pembul East SMC Berilah peluang kepada Cik Lili Yen Untuk menjadi seorang anda di Parlimen Pundilah Lili Yen Pundilah Parti Pekerja Terima kasih Assalamualaikum